Hey there. Welcome back to the Keith Hebert Show. It's been kind of a weird week, but like the rest of you guys, I've been staying away from people, I've been making beef stews, and I've been talking to plants. Oh, you're my friend. You're my good buddy. Who are you? Oh, hi, buddy. You're gonna do great. Oh, what's this? You got a little thing over here? Oh, that's looking great. Oh, there you are. Ooh. Oh, kitty plant. Oh, I don't have animals anymore, but I got a kitty plant. Oh, doggy plant. I don't have a doggy, but I got a plant that's a doggy. Toilet plant. You're not even a real plant, but I love you. Ha <laughs> You're my friend, Buddha plant. You're my friend. And I'm having a pretty good time. I need to address something else, too. Um, all of a sudden, there's a lot of people out there who think it's a good idea to just copy my show and just start doing their own show. But guess what? It isn't, okay? It's not your show. It's my show. You can't just copy it. But I can assure you, all those shows are going to fail. Because you know why? They don't have a green screen, and they don't have celebrity call-ins. Yeah, that's right. At the end of this episode, we got a celebrity call-in. Isn't that impressive? That's something people can tell their mom about. You know what I mean? Now, as you can see, there's been kind of a change of scenery. Um, yeah. I'm on a plane, okay? I'm on a plane because there's cheap tickets out there right now, and I couldn't afford to not buy them. And also, um, it's kind of sketchy to be around people right now, so when I bought the tickets, I didn't think about that. But when I got there, I asked, can I just ride on the wing? And they were like, yeah, that's fine, you're small. The wing won't even notice you're there. So that's why I'm on the wing, and it's totally fine. Because I'm strapped in. Oh, it's very safe, okay? Shut up, all right? Just shut up. Now this week, I got a lot of questions to get to. I've been getting a lot of emails, I've been getting some voicemails, and even a celebrity guest video voicemail, which is gonna be awesome. Because this isn't just some run-of-the-mill celebrity. This is a real serious, important celebrity that everyone's gonna recognize, and they're gonna be so proud of me. Okay, everyone. So keep watching the show, or you're gonna miss it. Now the first email today comes from Colby B. He wrote, hey Keith, my mom hates my new online comedy show. What should I do? Does she even love me? That's an excellent question, and it sounds really awful, but I gotta say, do you really want to make your show for moms? I mean, come on, don't they have enough stuff already? They got like all those old reruns that no one cares about anymore, just old blurry things on TV, just like reruns of church from the 80s. There's stuff that they can watch that we don't want to watch, all right? That stuff's boring to me. Some older moms think that this stuff's really cool. So whatever they want to do is totally fine by me. I'm not here to like tell people how to live their lives, okay? That's not what I do. But yeah, my mom hates my show too, and that's fine. I, I didn't make it for her, I made it for me. And what that probably means is, it's an awesome show. Okay, moving on to the next voicemail. This one comes from Jack S. All right, let's hear it. Hey man, how's it going? I haven't talked to you in a while. I'll just call and see how you're doing. Uh, saw that you have like a TV show now or something. That's cool, I guess. Uh, I mean, to be honest, I saw it, the green screen. It is ugly. Your logo, it looks like it's from In Living Color. Uh, that cartoon of you is absolutely hideous. Like, you're ugly in real life, but that thing is ten times worse. I guess, like, if you're bored and working at home or whatever, like, keep it up. Keep trying, I guess. But, uh, honestly, I showed it to some, some friends, and we all laughed at you. Wow. That was really rude. I thought that guy was my friend. But here's the thing about success. Once you get it... You're gonna have haters. That's okay, you can't stress me out. I'm 22,000 feet in the air, and I have my feet strapped to the wing of a plane. I'm doing fine, okay? I'm doing fine. Next voicemail comes from a guy named Tim. I think I know this guy. Hold on. Hey, Keith, this is uh, Tim Duffy. I was just calling to check in, see how you're doing during all these times of woe. Um, Actually, I ran into Mo the other day, and he said, he said you're making the Keith Hebert show. I laughed, uh, I laughed really hard because I thought it was a joke. And uh, then he said he was serious. And uh, I don't know, I'm kind of, kind of concerned. Do you, do you really think you have a, do you think you have the personality to carry your own show? I don't know. I guess we'll see. Uh, give me a call. Let me know how you're doing. See ya. Okay. Wow. Well, with a guy with that kind of voice. Um, I don't know if he should really be making fun of anybody in their show. Hey friend, 
why don't you go start your own show with a bunch of hippie chipmunks, all right? And you can take your silly little squirrel friends and hide up in a tree. All right, enough of the negativity. We have our very special video voicemail from our guest, our friend, celebrity, very important guy, Jared Leto. Hey Keith, Jared Leto. Listen, been hearing great stuff about your show. I was recently in isolation for 12 days on a retreat. When I got back, I found out about coronavirus, so unfortunately I have to go back into isolation. Been a real tough week for Jer. The 12 days were nice though. I think I'll be okay. I recently bought a few new necklaces that I think everyone's really gonna like. I also went and got a new comb to keep my hair looking good for me when I look in the mirror. I wish everyone could come touch my hair. Pet it like a dog you love. Smell it. Kiss it. My hair. My hair. Unfortunately, I must go. Sorry I didn't watch your show, but I'm in it now, so... It'll really broaden your audience, I think. I was just very busy watching spiders weave a web on the precipice of a dawn in a forest, milking cows above a golden pail that collects the milk of life. Sometimes you're a prince, other times you're like a particle of dust floating in suspension, waiting to fall back to earth. We are dust, Keith. We are all dust. Wow, that was incredible stuff. I really hope Jared makes it out okay. He's a great guy and we love him. And Jared, if you're watching, I really hope that you enjoyed the show and I hope everybody enjoyed the show. That's it for this week. All right, bye. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's bats. The Keith Fever Show. We're gonna talk about magic and stuff. Everything that's on his mind. Everything that's on your mind. All the minds. All the minds. The Keith Fever Show.